Now to the pandemic's devastating impact on students. Reports show math scores have significantly declined in the last three years. In today's Eye on America, CBS's Meg Oliver takes a look at how one school district's new approach is adding up to success. When Dan Crispino took the job overseeing curriculum for elementary schools in Meriden, Connecticut, it was 2019, and he had a big problem to solve. And when I would go into classrooms all over the district, I could see that kids didn't seem as excited mm -hmm. um, about math. In a low-income district where nearly 75% of kids receive free or reduced lunch, math was a struggle. We only had 60 minutes uh, for mathematics. It's now 90 minutes, starting with a 30-minute lesson, followed by a 60-minute block where every second counts. Three-minute warning, my friends. The class is made up of tightly timed segments where students and the teacher rotate through small groups. Understand the problem. Every classroom is on the same lesson using the same math vocabulary. No one moves on until everyone right. understands the new material. We're going to be trendsetters. People are going to want to know what we're doing in math. It's going to be that good. Also, for the first time, tutoring is offered during the school day. With these changes, Crispino spearheaded a remarkable transformation. How's everybody doing today? Good. Good. Amalia Calafiori teaches fourth grade. Do, so. do you think this could be a model for schools nationwide? Absolutely. I think it's something that might seem daunting to start, but once you get, it's just like anything, once you get the hang of it, mm -hmm. um, it's actually much easier. Raise your hand if math is your favorite subject. Oh, I like recess. <laughs> <laughs> Colin Flynn may love recess, but he also looks forward to addition, subtraction, and division. What makes math fun? It, what makes math fun is that you usually get to work with a partner or go one-on-one -on -one with a teacher. And why do you like that? Because then sometimes it's like competition or sometimes it's you just reviewing and knowing what you did wrong. Nationwide, student math scores plummeted during the pandemic, with the steepest decline ever recorded. But here in Meriden, scores went up at nearly every elementary school in the district. What does the future look like for these students? Opportunities to do things in college that are connected to mathematics, giving kids another avenue of what their future could look like. A future full of calculated possibilities. For Eye on America, Meg Oliver, CBS News, Meriden, Connecticut.